Hello guys and girls, welcome back to the next episode of City Skylines here in Sipper Green Tea City with me, Biffa. Thank you very much for joining me. So this episode, we are going to be preparing for disaster. Yes, I hear that there is disaster on the horizon. Last episode, I had a little heart to heart with you guys and said I have been loving loving this city i think it's one of the best ones that i have made there is so much more i would love to do in the city but we've reached the limit of the game engine and i hate that that's the facts i hate that that's happening um did that guy did like a handbrake turn this guy here he did like a handbrake turn skip back 10 seconds on the video it looked like he did anyway anyway and yeah, I've hit, I've hit the, I've hit the, the the limits of the game engine. So, as always with these series, we're going to go out with a bang. We're going to destroy lots of things, but we need to prepare for that first. And then, what is the future of a city skyline? Well, it's not going to be the end of the series. Excuse the rustling in the background while I'm talking. I'm just taking my coat off. I'll tell you why I'm wearing that in a minute. It's not going to be the end of. It'll be the end of the series. It won't be the end of city skylines. What I'm thinking of doing is if I can find a scenario that's well made and balanced, gives um, good targets to aim for, and I asked about this on uh, Twitter and didn't get any replies. I think finding balanced scenarios is, is hard to come by, to be honest. I've had people put some in the comments. Thank you very much. I did take a look, but maps that say a target of 170,000 people ain't going to work. Look, I mean, we're at 110,000 and the game is struggling. Um game engine struggling. 170,000 is just, you know, impossible. And targets of, you know, 10,000 squares of tourism and 10,000 squares of something. You know, that's just not... They're not targets to aim for. They're just, you know, you're going to do that when you build a city anyway. So, the ones I've enjoyed the most, if you know any like this, were like the ones where you have to fix traffic. Where you have to... Uh, you know, there's like a little story behind it, that sort of stuff. And I, I think that's where a lot of the scenarios fall down. But anyway, if you know of a good, well-made, balanced scenario that you could... Like the Mars one, that was brilliant. If you didn't see that one, a yeah, bit of role-playing involved. But we set up a city on Mars, that was fantastic. My Surviving Mars City Skyline. Not not Surviving Mars the game, City Skyline, Surviving Mars... Yeah, I was quite clever with that title there. <laughs> but anyway... If you know any, link them below and I'll take a look. If not, what I'll do is I'll find a nice small map um, that we can like really build on and make it look nice um, and do something like that. Something a bit different. But anyway, let's just go to another part of the city while I just tell you the next thing I want to tell you. Uh, because it's Tuesday morning. I took Monday off. It's Monday's a bank holiday in the UK. Do you know where I want to go and have a look? My favourite part of the city is my transport hub area over here. I love watching all the stuff going on here. Monorails, trains, planes, automobiles, blimps, absolutely everything. If we go from this way, trams up and down here as well. Here we go. Let's watch this junction here. We can see it all going on. There we go. Um, yeah, Bank Holiday Monday yesterday. Took the day off. Enjoyed my time with the family. Uh, we did baking. We did a bake-off. My sons started watching uh, Celebrity Bake Off, so we watched a couple of ep uh, we watched an episode of that, and then they wanted to do Bake Off with me, with my oldest son, and my youngest son, with his mum, and we did like a competition making gingerbread men, which was fantastic. And considering that first thing in the morning, I bent down to pick pick something off up off the floor and put my back out. I don't know what I did. Um, but I bent over and it was like, oh my goodness. And I had to just flop down on the floor and I lay there. And then my kids decided to come in and make me feel better by telling me jokes and things. Sat on the bed <laughs> while I'm lying on the floor. They were just telling me jokes and things. Really sweet of them. It was nice. But considering I was in agony all day, we had a lovely day. And then the boys were reading books to me and all sorts. It was great fun. Um, so yes, there was that. And then last night... I suddenly turned into story time with Biffa. And then last night, I did some Minecraft recording. Ooh, what's that that's coming up? So if you're missing some Minecraft, later on today, if I manage to get this video out in time today, there will be a new Minecraft series. I won't say any more. I don't want to give any spoilers. It's good fun. And it's with some, some others that I haven't done any recording with for a while. So 
Yeah, look out for that. What is that beetle doing? He was skidding around the middle of the road. Anyway, so we have a little bit of money. I've been trying to balance the books. We're still losing money. It's nuts. Um, we spoke about this in the last episode. Um, I've gone through all of these. And any that had a ridiculous amount of vehicles, I've dropped them all down. Um, I've put all my trains for only during the day and not at night. This line here, I don't know why it's got no vehicles on it. It's bugged out. I can't be bothered to change it. Um, so everything should have only a couple of... I mean, this has run okay with this amount of vehicles, so I haven't changed that. But all of these ones... Some of these train lines had like 12 trains and 10 passengers. But I think what is causing us the most loss of money is... Uh, that's not what I want. Is this here. And I think most of that minus 52,000 is down to the amount of train lines that we've got around the place. We've got our big hyperloop around here. And you pay 60 simoleons or whatever per piece. So, you know, that's costing a lot. Why is that all backed up? Oh my goodness, what the heck's going on? What the heck is going on? What? <laughs> What's happening here? So why... Oh, 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 auto save. Well, that is weird. That is very weird. And this is backed up all down here. Oh, man, I hadn't even noticed this. I've, I've lessened the amount of trains on my... I wonder if it's because I've said it to only at night that a load of these trains are trying to leave. I bet that's what it is. Yeah, I bet that's what it is. Anywho, anywho. So I've gone round and I've like turned a few things off. I've turned off the... Uh, let's just quickly get my bearings. Yep, yeah, I've turned off the zip into here. I've turned this off. That's costing me two and a half thousand a week. Um, I may as well turn this off. Because, you know, the series is going to be ending in an episode or two. Probably next episode. To try and save some money. I've got my... These set up a little bit higher to try and earn some more money. But all that's making it do is people leave. So 13 is literally the highest you can go before people complain. So what we're going to do is try and do some disaster preparedness in our city. So we've got all these things we want to strategically place around our city. So when disaster hits, be it tsunami, <laughs> we're going to have some of those... Be it Meteor, oh, we're going to have some of those. And whatever else that we've got, we are going to certainly be semi-prepared for what we've got. So, let's have a look at these then. A tall radio mast, um, 25,000, we can afford that. We are going to want uh, radio coverage likely to come to shelters. So, if we can put some of these in and cover as much as possible. So, if we have it right on this coast here as close to the coast as we can. Yeah, I'll actually put it in the water. Well, that was a bit weird, wasn't it? Hmm. I'm going to just move it, mod that out. To here? No, that is really weird, isn't it? <laughs> Let's try it with this one. Without trees. There we go. And it's also going to make it really wonky. And it's going to keep the things as well. Oh, 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 let's just do this then and pay even more money to move it. There we go. Oh, it still made it a bit weird. Anywho, so we've got one of those there. That's going to need some power. Let's run some power lines to that. There we go. Perfect. So we come across there and down there. There we go. That'll have some power to warn those citizens of the upcoming disasters. That's that part of the city. There we go. That's what it wants. Mostly covered. Oh man, we're going to need another one here and then another one there. And I think we'll sort of go with the best that we can. So we want this one in here somewhere. Ooh, where can we squeeze that in? Here. That's going to go right in the middle there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to Oh, darn it. I'm going to back up this this uh, city before we destroy it. And I will make it available for those that wish to download it and mess around with it. There we go. So let's have a look at that. That should cover... There we go. That should cover another large section of the city. Nice. And then we'll do one more over here in the poor people in Madison Square. Oh, actually, we'll overlap it a bit like that. 
So it goes by Lake Hills over here somewhere. Slope too steep. Okay. Ah, there we go. Maybe turn it round a spot. There we go. Excellent. Right there. And that should cover... <laughs> that's lit up green already. There we go. Excellent. So that's most of our city covered by tall radio masts. Yeah, look at the happiness spreading through. Excellent. Um, so, yeah, what I was going to mention at the beginning is my back is a bit better today. I made it to the office last night and managed to sit down and... Uh, what's this one? So it comes a form. Is sent to show the approximate location. I don't know whether... Has this got an air of effect as well? It has. Oh, man, it's quite small, isn't it? How much do these cost? We're going to run out of money. 3500 Oh, okay. We can sort of spread these around a bit. I'm going to put one down here. What? That's not what I want. One of these. I'm going to put one of these down there. There we go. So that will cover that area, hopefully. Yeah, so I managed to sit and record last night without me back giving me too much problems. Ooh, I want one to cover all of this. Let's squeeze one down in here somewhere. So I'm able to get to work and do some work, which is good. Let's put this up against the road there. And have a look at that. There we go. But it might be a slightly shorter episode, just so I'm not doing me back in any worse than it already is by being sat in the office too long. Here we go. Let's go down here. Uh, Vermont Heights. So this is like... Oh, look at that. It's a perfect little spot. Right. You're still complaining about the money. Why are you complaining about the money? About the tax? Go on. Off you go. And also, there was a couple of comments about using the demand mod. Because I, I'd sort of spoken about that and how it can cause problems. And there's another, another demand mod that somebody sent to me and, and all that sort of thing. Um... That doesn't help the fact that the game engine is struggling. So, thank you for the suggestion anyway. But, let's have a look. There we go. So, I want one down here by the ore section. So, let's put one by the train station. There we go. But I think the big thing with the money in this city is... The huge amount of train lines that we've gone for. And the fact that green city stuff doesn't give you as much money. Are we going to have one over here? Cover this area, maybe? Agent MOR Heights. Madison. Now we'll leave that. We'll leave those guys to fend for themselves. <laughs> Tsunami warning, boys. Right. So, we're going to need one of these. One of these here. So, that can just go... Bang, right in the middle there. And then we're going to have one over here. So right before this bridge. Here. And then we're going to have one by New Paris. Maybe there. They cost 4000 each. So that should be good. I don't think that gives us any coverage information. No, it's just a warning boy. As the tsunami is heading up the water. Okay, weather radar. Keeps a watch on weather patterns. Quick sip of tea. Notify you why the, the building covers the whole city. That's what I was looking for. So 25,000. I think that needs to go on top of our mountain over here. Thank you as well for all the lovely comments that tell me how nice my city looks. I, I, I do like it. Um, yeah, let's put that right there. Let's have a look at that. I like that one. That's quite good. There we go. See the little red light flashing on the top. Excellent. Forecast period 14 days ahead. Nice, nice. Yeah, I do appreciate that. I'm glad you guys have been liking my city as well. But, yeah, I'm looking forward to having a nice small map and really going all out to making it look cool everywhere. Really, really nice. Oh, deep space radar. This building covers the whole city as well. Yeah, that's going to go up here. This is the perfect spot for all of this sort of stuff, isn't it? Where can we put this? Hmm... Maybe a little bit further over on its own little its own little section up here would be good. Uh, let's grab... We're using this road here. Let's go up here. I always feel like with stuff like this, if you give it its own little road, it makes it just that bit better. Uh, deep space radar. Oh, that's not quite big enough. Darn. Let's delete that. It's just going to go a bit too far back. What about just on the edge there? Yes. There we go. If we get it in there... 
We can make that road a tiny bit longer. Yeah, there we go. That's good. And let's join these up. There we go. Good. Wow, look at that thing. Look. At that thing. That is pretty huge, isn't it? I'm liking that a lot. And we want to just put some trees around that as well. Oh, I nearly clicked on <laughs> one of these. That wouldn't be good. Let's just play some trees. Ah! Oh, my goodness. I'm looking forward to tomorrow. There we go. We want some of these. Oh, oh, I saw some of the comments telling me I'd left prop and tree anarchy on by mistake. On one of my previous episodes. Oh my goodness. I haven't gone and checked that out yet. To see where all the trees have been placed. There we go. Popping tree anarchy is now off. Yeah, there we go. I feel like... Oh, they've got some car park in there. That's okay. I don't know where I was placing the trees. I think it was down here, wasn't it? Although they, no, I don't know whether I did have it on the whole time. There's no trees placed in my ore. These, a lot of these are left because of the tax rates I'd put on. <laughs> Whoops. Anywho, um, so that's that one, and that is it. That is all. Oh no, of course it isn't. And then we've got these. We've got the disaster response unit that's going to send out helicopters uh, and rescue people. Now, you would think in a city this size, you would need more than one, because I mean, this is almost like a couple of cities in one, like a city here. A city here, a city over here. So I'm not quite sure how much do these cost. Man, we're losing so much money. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Is I'm going to do... I'm going to just take some loans. What is that going to cost us? Weekly, 442, 253. We're just never going to pay them back. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Is I'm going to up the taxes on everything to just make some money while we're doing this. There we go. So let's put, I reckon one over here would be a good idea. And probably over here by the airport. Can I not put it up against that road? Oh, it's because it's got that on there. Okay, if I put it over here. By the bus station. And that should be okay. They should be happy to, to come out from there. I like this disaster response bill and I think it looks really cool. Oh, look at that. It's got like a... Man, that is pretty cool. It's cooler than I thought. I didn't realise it had like a built-in internal sort of section there. So that is... I mean, that's going to cost us 640 a week. But I seriously think we need an, at least one more. I mean, that may be for that side of the river. And then one over here in the middle to sort of cover this. These people on the mountain have to fend for themselves, I'm afraid. So maybe somewhere with good motorway links. This bit here. You know what? I feel like it should have its own little road. Let's bring... We've got a junction there anyway. Let's do that. There we go. And then let's put some car parking up alongside that. Car parking. No. Oh, you've got to spell it parking. Otherwise, it doesn't like it. Parking. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Um, there's going to be a lot of people working here, isn't there? So, 2 by 10 Yeah, there we go. And then what we can do is we can run that road up alongside. Let's just pause it. Let's go there. And then there. And then delete that. Yep, there we go. Oh, you need water and stuff. Okay. Don't want this guy not working when we're meant to be looking after our city. Let's go down there, up to here. Is that going to cover you okay? Oh, there's power, like, right there. How's that? Yep, the water's okay, the power will kick in. Excellent, so we've got two disaster response things, but this is this is what the expense is going to be. So the large emergency shelter, and then how much water... Oh, look at the money we're making. Woohoo! Losing people, but making money. So, we've got the large emergency shelter. What is our population? It's just, just dropping below 100,000. We're going to keep that going until we've got some money. Um, 74,000. And the smaller ones, 24,000. 
Uh, but that can hold a thousand, and this can hold ten thousand. So technically, we need ten of these, which is seven hundred and forty thousand pounds around the city. Let's start with the small one. So the small one, I reckon, we can have one up here. And up in the mountains, to me, sounds like the best place for an emergency shelter. So if we actually leave this on, we're going to see how far this will cover. They don't actually cover that far. I want it to face against the road. This road. There we go. We'll do it there. Then. There we go. That will please some people. But also in these, if I remember correctly, there's like bus routes. Yeah, and there's how much water, food and power they've got as well. So that's building up reasonably quickly. That's good. By the time we finish placing these, we should have a lot. Um, mm, 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 mm. Just wondering, 24,000. So these ones, like the large emergency shelters... I'll tell you what we're going to do is, as we do these, I'm going to do the bus routes. Otherwise, I'm going to completely forget. So, draw an evacuation routes, delete. So, ones nearby will walk. They're almost indestructible. Okay, the ones further away. So, these people will walk, but we're going to use that one to cover this section down here. So, I'm going to say that everybody here is going to walk, but from Sheffield Hills up, they won't. So we're going to go there. Uh, there's a school here, isn't there? Yeah, the two schools. So we'll do one there. I mean, also, the further this goes, the less likely it's going to pick everybody up. Oh, there isn't any people down here, is there? All right, we'll do a quick stop in... Oh, man, that is like a long way around. And then we'll do one quick stop down here between sort of these areas, and then we'll just go back again. Because, yeah, the longer this bus route goes, the less likely it's going to pick everybody up. So we'll go with that. I know we're losing people. We'll get a load back. Don't worry. So that sort of covers this. Um, and then how are we going to do the rest? I mean, grief. To even work out how many people live in all these areas is just going to be nuts. Household zero. Household zero. I mean, there's all the people that are working there. This will have some people. So that's got like 2,400, zero. I'm looking at this one here, household zero. This will start having some. Oh, household zero. Vermont Heights, household one. <laughs> Cozy Heights, there you go, 2,000. Actually, there's less people in this area than I thought. Two, four, back to about six, seven, eight, nine. So I reckon one in here would cover all of this one big one would cover all of this area and if we could get that in the middle somewhere i mean they're so big these things let me squeeze that in there it's going to take out some of the it buildings which do actually give us a lot of money i'm thinking it's nicely by the road I'm going to go this one here. There we go. So I think that's going to cover most of this. And then we've got to run the evacuation routes for that around the place. Yeah, I'll go with that. I mean, it might just be travelling far too far. But we, we are going to get warnings of incoming disasters with what we've... You know, all the warning stuff we've set up. So, yeah. We're going to go with that. Um, over here, I'm going to put a small one. So let's get one of these, and we're going to just put that in the middle. And that's going to have to just cover all of this. <laughs> so let's go, let's have a look. So there's this motorway. These all connect. So somewhere in the middle here, I think, would be okay. If we go there. That will start filling up. And then we can do our evacuation route. We're going to have one that's over here. Bang in the middle. Pick up all the brainy people. We're then going to come down here, pick up all the people on Paris Island. We're then going to come across and into... Oh, man, if I get all the way around here. We're going to stop here. And then we're going to leave again and come into here. Just somewhere, bang in the middle. Like that. And then we're going to come back again. 
to here. Yep. That's going to cover that. So that's that. All covered. This all covered. And then we've got one here. I reckon a big one there and a small one over here. And then that will be that. Oh, we're back to losing money again. I've got my taxes far too high. <laughs> let's get some people in. Oh, my goodness me. Yeah, let's do that. So let's put a small one sort of over here. I mean, we've got a lot of people there. We've got a lot of people there. And this is mostly shops and stuff. So I think a small one down here. Let's put it right by the bus places. I think that's a good idea. And then I'll run these routes around. There we go. And then finally, I'm sure these aren't the best best placed stuff, but hey-ho. And then finally, we're going to do one. I feel like I've forgotten. Oh, no, we did that area. We're going to do a large one in here. And we're going to put that right in the middle there. Yep, there we go. And then I'll run the bus routes around for this one as well. Okay, well, there we go. I think, I think that that's going to be okay. Oh, man, look at our city. Look at our city. So, what do you want to see for the destruction? I mean, the last big city we made, I had huge tidal waves just completely wipe the place over. What I may do is I'm going to build up the population a bit more. So, we get back to what we had before, more or less, as much as I can. Um, we may save the city and then have massive tidal waves come in, have some fun with that, and then we might just reload it again and have some fun with the other stuff. I think that's probably what I'm going to do. So, even though this is a little bit shorter episode, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I really am going to have to go and stretch my back. Don't forget to be back here tomorrow for the destruction of Sipper Green Tea City. Oh my goodness me. And then any really nice scenarios, well-made ones, let me know. Or if not, some really cool little maps, smaller maps, that we can build on. If there's anything you particularly like, um, then let me know in the comments below. But yeah, next episode, season finale, this city is gonna fall. I will see you then. Thanks for watching, guys and girls. Take care. Bye-bye. You don't even know what's coming peacefully sunbathing on the beach going about your daily business the next thing you know da, da, da. there's nothing there yet but there will be tomorrow <laughs> i'll see you then bye bye